This segment is sponsored by Bryant and Stratton College for every and in life. Undoubtedly, this pandemic has certainly propelled the field of nursing to the front lines and demand is greater than ever. It already was. We're joined today by campus director Beth Murphy of Bryant and Stratton College here in Richmond. Beth, it's wonderful to have you with us today. Thanks for making time. Oh, thank you. This is a critical conversation. The, the times that we are in certainly has propelled the field of nursing front and center. And as we've talked before, the, the field of nursing was already incredibly in demand. It's crazy because it was a field that was already in demand. But now you combine what's going on in the world. And I would also add um, Brian Stratton College's ability to adapt and to continue to educate um, nursing students even through the pandemic has really increased the demand for nurses and for programs of study that offer nursing. It's a, they are, there's a critical need for the nurses and Bryant and Stratton College certainly has turned on a dime to be able to adapt to that. You know, we had the conversation early in the year of how curriculum changed, and now you've set this pattern going forward. There is that critical need for nursing, and it's important to make sure that you're working with a partner if you're pursuing this as a career path that is credible or has that accreditation. Well, exactly. Um, the nursing program is hard, and so you want to know that you're on a path um, to, to reach your career, your career dreams, your aspirations. Um, so I always encourage students to look at the, the NCLEX pass rates for an institution. Those are public. Um, so you can see, all right, how well is this school preparing me? But the other part is the programmatic accreditation. And so our nursing programs either have the ASIN or the CCNE accreditation. And why that may not be important to a, to a prospective student, employers look for this. They want to know that students graduated from an accredited program because that means that the curriculum, the content equals, um, it, they see it as equating to someone who is prepared for the workforce. It's a, it's a good housekeeping seal of approval. Um, so always look for those indicators, those things as you're looking for a, pro, for a program to pursue. Which is key. If you're making this investment in yourself and you're choosing to pursue this career or to reignite and maybe do a career switch, you want to make sure that you have that accreditation. Training and support are as critical, and that is essential at Bryan and Stratton College. Definitely. So whether we're remote or in person, and I'm happy to say that the majority of our nursing classes have returned to in-person instruction, you want to make sure that that classroom experience, you're learning the technical skills, but you're also learning things about effective communication, critical thinking, problem solving. And I'm really impressed with how our faculty have continued to adapt to ensure that all of this is occurring in the classroom. We've driven the point home that nurses are in high demand, but you offer a full lineup of healthcare programming at Bryan and Stratton College. We do. We have diploma, associate, and bachelor degrees in healthcare because um, nurses are not the only healthcare profession that is in demand. And a lot of people may not be a good fit for nursing, but really would do well with behind the scenes or administration. And so I think it's great that we do offer so many programs and also at different academic credentialing. So let's say that you're an LPN and you want to earn your associate degree. We can meet you there. But let's say that you have your associate degree and you want to earn your bachelor's, you're ready to become a manager. We can also meet that need. So, but because of that, because of the complexity, um, it's also really important that you talk to someone to make sure that you're entering the right program of study at the right, right um, credentialing level. And I know we've covered a lot of ground today, but there are certainly plenty of questions. A great way to get those questions answered is the upcoming healthcare lunch and learn. Oh, I so encourage people, if you're thinking at all about a healthcare program of study, to come to um, November 18th. We're hosting a lunch and learn. We're going to be self screening, wearing masks, so it, it will be a safe event. Um, but it really gives you a chance to ask all of these questions, because as you said, this is a complex decision, and I want to ensure that people do feel comfortable and that they clearly are put on the right path. We'll have that November healthcare lunch and learn on our calendar and looking ahead, the semester is right around the corner. 
It really is. And so I know that it seems like, oh, you know, January is so far away. But a lot of these programs require some extra legwork. And I think it would be great. Let's check all these boxes, be ready to go so that we can enjoy the holidays and go ahead and start our new program of study come January. Great advice. Beth Murphy, thank you for making time. Oh, thank you, Jessica. Absolutely. And we'll share all the information about Bryant and Stratton College and the upcoming Healthcare Lunch and Learn so that you can learn more. Healthcare Careers Lunch and Learn is Wednesday, November the 18th from noon until 1.30 p.m. on the BSC Richmond campus. For more information, give them a call at 888-839-1718. You can visit them online at bryantandstratton.edu. Find them on facebook.com slash BSC Richmond. Bryant and Stratton College's winter 2021 classes start Wednesday, January 13th, the college is located at 8141 Hall Street Road in North Chesterfield. For more information, give them a call at 888-839-1718. Visit them online at bryantstratton.edu. Find them on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram at BSC Richmond. And please stay tuned because we're going to be right back.